and limit. That's true. I mean, you can yeah. at least get stage control, especially if they're if they're committing to grab or shield as often. Yeah. But enough about Cloud. We'll talk about Cloud later. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. So let's go, Pokemon. Pokemon's going to go with Isabel this time around. All right. Oh, all right. New Horizon Master. The secretary. Yep. Oh yeah, and. Ooh, bear? Oh no, he went, he went a, a delay bear, yeah. Now I did catch the tail end Ooh, of you and Korean's uh, commentary block with Sonic's in it, but wait, where is he? Wow! Oh, he kicked to the curb. He went underneath the stage to kick Isabel. You can't tell me that was high. That was so high. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was lit. <laughs> right. now, why can't all really the like... Sonics play like this? Dude, Tell me, Bam. That's how you why play. why that's isn't how you it possible? Sonic. There you go. Good catch. I love that. So he uh, got up air, up air, uh, of course. The hitbox is very thin, up air, too. So unless you like drift into them, uh, or if you're playing against characters that have very small heart boxes, it'll whiff. So I love that he ended up getting with an air into fair, the pressure. So, so okay. some cool little ex extensions from uh, from mishaps. So I love that. But uh, Pokemon, I'm going to get that kill with the force smash. Good stuff. That's right, showing off the popper. You can get that at your shop for only a few hundred bells, so be sure to check mm -hmm. that out too. Yeah. Alright, dash attack connects, and Sonic's shark in the landings. Oh, good trade for Pokeland though. It's gonna stop mm -hmm. that spin dash. And these instant homing oh. attacks are so difficult to deal with. Especially yeah. when it does it like in your face. Yeah. Yeah, he actually had a kill there. But uh oh. as you can see, Pokeland was actually dying in on super spin dash uh spin dash jump. So that's the reason why you wouldn't get him. Oh, we got him to edge. You already know. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did <a> <laughs> Just close. one jab too many. <laughs> yep. Oh, get carried up though. That Lloyd. That's a good trap from Isabel. Yeah. I love when, like, Isabel swings her bigger attacks because she closes her eyes. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Not gonna happen. Because up there, Sonic's gonna get that sock. Now Sonic's is gonna looks like he's gonna sit back a little bit here, trying to make sure he can get a proper opening. He wants to, you know, make himself have a decent lead. Old option. That Lloyd. Fed oh, up. The Lloyd. Oh, he's not ready. I don't think he expected the Lloyd to go up. Yeah, that's coverage, dude. Okay, it's, yep, jumping wow. away from that platform, not giving yeah. Lamb an option to really pressure him further. Ooh, set up, pressure. So up air, if you do get up air 2 on shield, uh, I do believe that's still zero in this game. Uh, on lock, so it's like actual pressure. Good Yo, jab. free? Free pressure? Nice. Yeah. Alright, Jack. Yep, that's right. Oh, I thought he was gonna... Nah, Pom Pom's got caught. Yep. Good catch. Love the cancel. And a B reverse to mix up a landing Pokelam, making sure that he can get back to stage safe. Yeah. Oh, oh he got oh, him. Oh, get, yeah. get popped. Oh, he's going to wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to sit back here. Good homie attack. That's always going to be a, a terrific option to kind of any kind of set play you see a villager or Isabel going for. So you, a lot of times you can sit back in that mid range and reactively punish there. That's true, but Pokelam's going to mix up the timing on when he's going to grab the ledge by using the tether. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh. 124. Yeah, Sonic's just swinging. You know, he's looking for those back airs. He gets the homie, yep. or the spin dash. Ooh. Oh, see him back. Yeah, he had oh, to cancel. Good that cancel. Day. Good yeah. cancel. You're gonna see a back throw. Yep. Back throw. Yeah. It will not kill here. We'll have some kind of pressure. Oh. Wow, man. that wasn't enough Very to pop one funny. balloon. Yeah. All right. So Sonic is able to take game one for Pokelam, Isabel. I love the way the how Sonic uses homing attack not only for pressure but for like for movement as well. Like you'll see oh, yeah. him cross up and then a homing attack 
like the opposite way. Yeah. Just, it's hard. The mix up is just so difficult to tell where he's going. It's already difficult enough to, to, to tell if Sonic's is going to like stay in your face when spin dashing, but now he has another tool. Oh yeah, for sure. And if you're less, if you don't really understand how homie attacks work, then it can be difficult. Okay. I just want to shout out. Um, is that Oda Kuni? Is that Oda Kuni from Europe? Is that the same Oda Kuni. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. Anyways, Geo fellow Otakuni, uh, I, I love, I love the discussion going on with you guys. Think, uh, I, I love seeing that man. People just having some good proper discussion, not freaking knocking out each other, just <laughs> discussing the game. I like that. I like that. Anyways, we're gonna go on this uh, for a game two here. That's right, game two. We're on Carlos this time. Mm -hmm. Now these platforms are gonna allow uh, Pokelam just maybe another avenue of like uh, where he can recover as well as trap with the fishing rod. Yeah. That is a you, Otakuni. Well, hope you're doing well, bro. Hope all is well. Yep. Get up attack. I like it. Yep. There it is. Time to start fishing for Sonic. Why not? Fish on a hedgehog, dude. In there, fast fall, with chase, trying to get some coverage. Mm -hmm. oh. Saw the fishing rod come out, mm -hmm. immediately spin dashing. Oh, and I like that writing the wall down while having your active hitbox with spin attack or spin dash. Yeah, that's super, super that's good smart. in this situation. Okay, it looks like Sonic is. Oh, Back ho, ho. Ya, dude. yep, do not Got play him. with that. Sonic is uh, recognizing when Pokémon wants to go for the the fishing rod, and being aggressive in those moments. Oh, good mix up there by Pokémon. It's spin attack. Okay. Oh, the Resetting on the trampoline. Let's see. Oh, Pokémon gonna get the lock. Oh, didn't recognize and not gonna get a punish for it. Yeah, instead he gets S smashed from across the screen. Mm hmm Oh, okay, getting a couple jabs. Converting to Nair. Sonic's able to escape. Oh, he didn't put a hitbox out. So one of the most important things in this game, to recognize when you're going up against Sonic, is that Nairs are super, super good. Once he goes in the spin dash state, outside of the first half, half of a spin dash and jump, he's not going to be uh, invincible, right? So if that's a situation where you can literally you can put out nares, you can put out jabs, you can put a lot of things and it'll actively beat out a uh, spin dash. So that's something that people still struggle with. You have to know that against Sonic. Like that kind of situation right there, the S, those are the things you want to be aggressive. Don't be worried. When you start shielding Spin Dash in that situation, that's when Sonic can really thrive and just get free pressure that's not, that shouldn't happen. Wow, all right. Oh, Pokelam taking his time getting back to stage, taking a couple slink shots as well. Mm -hmm. The back air does connect. Man, pressure, I love that. Oh, that was so smart. <laughs> so Sonic's recognized that he had uh, he already used his double jump, and so he just let the spin dash spin out rather than him actually activating it because he would have killed himself. Just little smart things like just that he's being very deliberate with a lot of his movement. Okay, even using the platform to get the spin dash on. Just another avenue to recover. Oh. Fishing Rod comes in clutch for Pokelam again. Mm -hmm. Oh, get up attack, gonna be punished. Yeah, two slingshots, possibly three, but only two connect. Yeah. Good fair. 
Oh, I love the interruption there, Pokelam. And Pokelam was going deep right there. I was expecting a down air to come out uh, because Sonic could really only recover ver uh, vertically yep. against the and wall. Yeah, and he's not nearly as invincible as he was uh, in previous games, too. Once he does does it, it's like only in a little bit. Oh, he goes for the full charge homing attack. I think it's like virtually safe on shield. If you love that and I think Pokelam knew that, too, because he just ran out. Like, wasn't having any of that. <laughs> Deal damage to my shield, but you're not going to get much more than that. Okay, both players whiffing S smash. Yeah, he's trying to hit him with a confetti, man. Yeah, those chase. party coffers are no joke. Yep, absolutely. That's actually a pretty safe position to be in for Pokelam. He had Lloyd rocket down and then charging S smash. It's gonna Sonic has to uh, commit to the oh, air. Oh, the tech fairly that was early. so good. Allows him another opportunity to set up the the rocket, but dangerous situation here. Yeah, again, getting hit with one hit of a slingshot. Woo. Wow. Poker Lamb just evading Sonics. Yep, double jump gone too. Oh, this is big, this is big, this is big. <gasps> oh, no! He let the back air rock! <laughs> so Sonic's able to take out game two as well. With that very aggressive recovery. <laughs> yeah. Dang that, yeah, that that's a, a classic Sonic mix-up, dude. When they just overshoot the ledge and then that freaking bear. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons why I always think it's good to go for a two-frame versus Sonic. Oh, in case they're they're not going for ledge. Yeah, because if they don't go for ledge there, and you hit them with like a down smash or something, then they're in a very, very bad position if they're not outright just dead. Wow. Yeah. So that's usually the wave, because otherwise they will abuse that thing, right? Yeah, very true. Yeah, good stuff there by Sonics. Um, he recognized that he'd been sitting there uh, waiting for the kind of ledge play. He's like, all right, nope. <laughs> I'm just going right over it. True. And now we see the characters uh, change to Villager instead of Isabel. Yeah. yeah, put the secretary back to work. Bring out the mayor. Yeah. The young mayor, dude. Sometimes you gotta bring out the main character, dude. <laughs> okay, the Lloyd Rocket's gonna put a little bit of damage on to Sonics. Yep. The, the amount of nairs that are coming out from Pokeland. Yeah, I gotta make sure it's active. Yeah, at least get a trade. Okay, Oof. down smash and gonna whiff. And look at that, Sonic's just evading that S smash. What is Man, my this? man is moving. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all those options coming out from Sonic's making... Like, I don't know where he was going, but definitely did not want to recover that way. Yeah. See Clam coming up. So uh, another trick too, when you are going up against Villager, uh, you see him kind of going down low, right? And going to recovery. One of the best things when you're going up against Villager is if you have an, a smash you can angle down, like right. go for the two frame because what happens is like it gets way easier because the hit lag on the balloons. So you can actually just do a smash into the balloons and it pops, it pops, and then the hitbox is going to be active the whole time and then you actually punish them. Yeah, we've seen other players today mm -hmm. uh, also utilizing that tech. Uh, whoa, all right, back in the, the Lloyd Rocket. Going in Sonic's favor. He's just weaving around. Mm -hmm. Playing the very patient. You know, he's waiting for his opportune time to go in. I mean, that seems to be a good catch. Just for Sonic's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like a lot of times he goes like more like spin dash. Um, 
based in the, be in the beginning, kind of just figuring out like what he's trying to do in neutral. And then once he kind of gets uh, an advantage, and that's kind of when he starts moving around more so. Mm -hmm. uh, he's using it as well to kind of deal with the uh, fair. Deal with the slingshot, so that's actually a really nice, nice play. Okay, another homing oh, attack. This time he finds yep. himself off stage. Oh! You have to expect that directional air dodge. Yeah. <sighs> Stopping the momentum with his spin dash and committing to to a homing attack. Yep. Sonic's racking up a lot of damage that way. Okay, Pokemon's even now expecting the aerial approach with spin dash. You see him starting to throw out some anti-airs. Yeah, he's trying to anti-air and like preemptively just in case he goes for any uh, jump out or if he goes for any uh, like homing attack. But then he's kind of slowed down homing attack altogether. I see one here though. Yep, there it is. Ooh, and now this is attack. actually so good against Villager. You can oh! do that too. <laughs> nice. Yeah, unfortunately for Sonic. there and homing attacks, it's like so rough because it's like you can't. You have to basically just slowly rise up, and he gets a full charge. Ooh, big ass oh, key connecting for Poke Lamb. Sonic's retreats to the other side of the stage. Forget that sapling. I'm not dealing with it. Oh, okay. Wall jump. Nope, Force yep, attacks. I totally do it. Man, this is just, you know, for, for as aggressive as we've been seeing Sonic's play, right now we're seeing the opposite. It's like, chase the Sonic. I mean, yeah. I can't blame him. He's up. He is at kill percent. Yeah, I mean, he's, play he's playing it patient. Hey, okay, double slingshot again. I think he's really just waiting for Pokelam to commit to an option so he can punish it. Yeah. Right now it's so difficult for even Pokelam to commit to anything. Yeah, and it's some of the uh, quote unquote safe approaches that Sonic's is doing, it doesn't seem like Pokemon knows how to tackle those and that's gonna be like rough against Sonic cause, and that's what, like Sonic's camping is like very funny. It's like there's some things that are legit <laughs> just really hard to deal with and there's certain things that are like pseudo camping tools but because he's moving so fast, everyone just like respects it and holds shield or something. <laughs> and then he just gets away with murder, and then he just keeps running. That's true. Like in that uh, in that situation, Pokemon could have just ran behind the tree, and Sonic would have had to commit. He would have been protected. Okay, opting to put out a Lloyd Rocket it does connect. Another Lloyd Rocket working for Pokemon. Yep, there we go. Yeah, starting to see some more Lloyd Rockets. Like, again, that's going to be a really nice coverage. Cool. Like, especially like Sonic tries to go grounded, which he's gonna be in his kind of best state there when he's going for any spins. If he's airborne, that's really where you can kind of pick him out of the air with a slingshot. Oh, just standing there and taking the the spin there attack. See, and he's getting a lot better dealing with it. Okay, back air just connect. Unfortunately, that S match just a little bit too late. Sonic's is already in mid stage. Yeah, he's, he's, sure. he's gonna go. Yeah, he's gonna go on aggressive for sure. And because he's recognizing that he's like, he's Ooh. dealing with his camping a lot better now. Okay, really, Sonic's only needs that one back air. I think we're at the point where back air, no matter where it connects, is going to take the stock and the game. Oh, woof, that tree! Oh, wow. Do not, yep. do not roll around that tree. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's just trying to camp him the heck out. Oh, and, and you know what? There's only 15 oh, seconds left on the screen. That was... Oh, he actually... It, oh, man. Bam, there's only 10 seconds. No, I know. He That was that was, that was was game. That right there was game. That, I, that right there was game. <laughs> that right there was game. Man, that is... <laughs> That was rough. Oh, take us, take us through that. Back through that moment one more time. Oh man, yeah, he, he, fought, like he, before he had done this multiple times when he had expend, he tried to go aggressive, overshot uh, off stage Sonics, mm -hmm. and then he would kind of come back, right? 
Right. And Pokemon was learning how to deal with this camping. He knew he had to go aggressive because Pokemon was actually racking up damage. He got him on the air dodge and he just had to down smash and he down smashed unfortunately the wrong way. He had the stock, he had the game. So um that was what? That was three oh that was a well, that 0 it? in winner's semis going to Sonic, so Sonic's will yeah. advance to winner's finals. Yeah. That was a that was the first time out I've seen today. Yeah. It was it was such a good hit and run play from Sonic's that I didn't even realize how close the timer was until we were at fifteen seconds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, yeah, good, good stuff there by Sonics. Good stuff by Procolam, and uh, it's unfortunate because, again, I, I think that people don't recognize that there's that kind of camping. Everyone's like, oh, he doesn't get to play the game, blah blah. blah. Like, Procolam towards the end was getting better at dealing with those timings, right? Because he just didn't understand how to deal. Like a lot of people just don't understand.